All right, chosen ones. Why you're alone, have hardly any friends, and can't find a partner. That might be you on your journey. You have it all figured out, but you find yourself alone. You don't have many friends. It's very difficult for you to find a partner. And the reason for this, dear one, is because you're so bright. And when you're so bright, anyone with any darkness inside of them can't get close to you because you will reveal the truth within anyone. Many chosen ones, many people that resonate with the 144, they find themselves alone. They have hardly any friends, maybe zero friends. It's very difficult for them to find love. In this world, these things are very hard to come by. When you are authentic and you are so bright, people that aren't who they say they are, they can't get close to you. They actually run away from you. You might be walking around, you could be walking anywhere, and you literally see people running from you. Have you ever seen that? Let us know in the comments. Do you actually witness people running away from you? They absolutely can't make eye contact with you. Heck, they might even bump into a wall or trip over themselves. <laughs> Just God forbid, oh my God, I cannot make eye contact with him. I can't make eye contact with her. And you see, once they see you, they make like a weird face and they scurry away because the darkness that's inside of them actually fears you. Darkness is the absence of light. Light is information. And if a person is not living authentically, if they're not a true blue person, are you a true blue person? Let us know. If, not, if they're not true blue, they're operating out of an illusion a spell, if you will, right? Ooh. They're not real. Their persona is not real. You know, the energies, the energy theme that we're in right now, God is revealing the truth of you. And you're a chosen one. You're a rainbow warrior. You understand about peace. You understand about your wellness, your, your peace. And you rather be alone. Let us know if this resonates with you. You rather be alone than have your peace stirred up. And you know, people that are part of the matrix, they don't realize this. You know, you might be looking for authentic love. You might be looking for an authentic relationship. But people of this world, they're actually not like you. They're actually looking to have dominion over someone else. In this world, they're actually looking to gain control over someone else. You live freely and you allow everyone else to live freely. And that's why maybe relationships are difficult for you to find. People, they're not looking for authentic love. They're looking for power. They're looking to have something over you. They want to control. They want to control things. And that's the way that relationships are set up, right? It's almost like a business. Have you felt that way? you're probably a chosen one. You're looking at the modern relationships, right? You're looking at the modern female covert narcissists out there, and you're saying, this, this is like a business decision. I gotta make a business decision. You're looking at the beta males out there that, that, that could create an image, right? Yeah, they, they, they're not the fancy car. They're, they, they're, they're not the, the, the illusion that they cast, right? The, the, the covert female narcissists are not the illusion that they cast. All these things fade away, but you are true blue. Write true blue in the comments if that's you. Friends, you will see on your journey. You know, people, they, they will, they said this in the matrix, they will do things to actually protect the matrix. They're worried about their stock portfolio. They're, they're, they're worried about their image. So friends, you know what? When, when you start coming out, of the comfort zone, right? You could change your whole life, Light Warriors. Oh yeah. 
you could change your whole life. And people are still doing the same thing. The more that you let go, let go today, let go, let go of the old. More, more and more people are letting go. They're getting more in touch with their spirit. They're getting more in touch with their soul. And you're starting to benefit yourself. You're bettering yourself. All of a sudden, you realize who your friends are. When you better yourself, you'll see who your friends are. You know, they might get jealous of you. This you, my friend. Also, when you're knocked down, and maybe you're not so popular at the time, oh, you'll also see who your true friends are. So you might be a chosen one, and you might experience the high of high and the low of low. And God is doing this for a reason, because we, as the leaders of the new earth, we have to see who's true blue or not. And God is going to expose it all for us. And that's why you go through these things. You go through time periods and you go through seasons where you have highs. Oh, why are these people getting jealous? They're my fake friends. Lows. Oh, these are my fake friends. They were just looking because maybe they thought that they were going to ride off your coattails. And oh, because I, ooh, ooh, I got to be famous on, on uh, Instagram or whatever it is. You know what I'm talking about. But let's let go, right? When you let go of the matrix and you actually get in tune with nature, that's what it's all about. And more and more of these fake people, they look at this, oh man, this guy's really real. Like, <laughs> this guy wasn't messing around. Like, this guy was meaning every last word that he said. She was meaning every last word that she said. Are you noticing that? You're noticing that on your journey. Oh, they didn't realize it, Chosen One. They didn't know. They didn't realize that when you were talking, everything that you said, you meant what you said. And it's so foreign to you. It's so foreign to you when people lie. I have realized this over the course of the past few years. More and more, I'm realizing that almost everyone lies in this modern society. Have you noticed that as well? And that's why we really don't fit in. We're tired of the lies. Everyone lies. They lie about everything. But everything will be revealed in the light. And that's why these people, they don't want to be close to you. Because if they get close to you, uh-oh, the chosen one, which is you, the spark of Christ, which is you, the 144 sealed in the forehead, the energy field that's coming out, which is you, they don't want to be close to you. Because people, they get... Your light is going to expose them. So they're running from you. They see you. They might not even know you. They might not even know you, Chosen One. Oh, they start growling and snarling and they run. They run for it. When it comes to relationships, when it comes to meeting someone, they have a different thought in their mind. You're triggering people simply by your presence. We all have to realize all animals are able to pick up on vibration and frequency. And you are emitting a frequency from you. Simply by existing, you are changing this world. And people, even though they don't know it, subconsciously they are picking up on your frequency. If your Uncle Mike is speaking the truth, please smash the like button. I really appreciate that. And it helps others. So many people, you know, they're alone. They're, they're, they're great people. We're all great people, we're all powerful people, but it doesn't come with, it. it's not so fancy, if you will. You're so powerful, yet you're alone because you're actually above the matrix itself. You actually don't fit in. Many people don't fit into this world that are resonating on a higher frequency, above the matrix, on a higher plane of existence. So if you think of levels and layers, you're, you are all, we're all kind of looking down and we're viewing the 3D from a higher dimensional plane. And that's why we have to get a higher vantage point. I heard someone say that a long time ago. Remember that one? You have to get a higher vantage point. Nothing could hide from the light. And that's why the more that you raise your vibrational frequency, you're starting to see things. Maybe you never saw, you never saw these things before. You never saw them before. Now, you're being seen. You're seeing things that you've never seen before, and all of a sudden you're noticing things that maybe you didn't see that in the past. 
or your tolerance level is low. You have so little tolerance. You understand that your peace is a top priority and you can't have people in your life. They can't, it could be a friend, uh, it could be a family member, uh, especially a relationship when, it, when it's very, very close. Well, these energies, you know, there are two frequencies right now and, and biblically they talked about this, but it's not about a person. It's about a frequency. And there is Christ and there's Antichrist. And there's people that are resonating on a frequency of truth. And there are literally people that resonate on a frequency of fake, false, illusion, everything's a lie. And these two frequencies are clashing right now, can't be together. The truth cannot be with lies. And that's why people that embody that frequency, if people embody that frequency of Christ, people that embody that frequency of truth, people that embody the frequency of the lack of light, which is the darkness, the antichrist. That's why we see such a split right now. There are certain aspects of the world that feed the ego. We see that in social media. And that's why we're here trying to sh shine a light on it. You could really feel the light today. The light's so bright. We're getting suntan like never before. But that's where we have to stay focused on. We have to stay focused on the higher frequencies. We gotta stay focused on being the best version of ourselves. You might be alone. You might have hardly any friends or zero friends. And it might be very difficult for you to find love because it's not worth your time. It's not worth your time. You'd rather be alone than have a fake friend. Hit the like button if that's true. You'd rather, you rather be alone than be in a relationship with the narcissist. Hit the like button if that resonates with you. You'd rather be alone than take abuse. You'd rather be alone than have your peace disrupted. There's so much that we could accomplish. If we could be in peace, we could accomplish it all. You're a chosen one and you might be alone. You might have zero friends. You might not have any love, but you're here not because you are of this world. You came here to change this world and there's no one else like you. Each and every one of us are here for a specific reason. We're here because we're different. We're here to cause change. We're not here to do what everyone else does. That's why we don't fit in. You feel like you don't fit in? That's a reason. There's a reason why you don't fit in. Christ didn't fit, fit in. And I'm here to tell you the same people that hated Christ, they probably hate you too. You're seeing this, you walk around, you could walk around, all of a sudden they don't even know you. But for some reason they don't like you. And then there's people, they see you <laughs> and they glow. They glow like a glow worm when they see you. Do you see that as well? I love you guys. I set, spread some love in the comments. I appreciate that. But a lot of you, you've been through a tough time. And this world is foreign. The attributes of this world are foreign. We don't, we don't fit in. We really don't fit in. But it's time to embrace. We have to embrace. We have to embrace what we came here to do. We're all embracing these things whatever it is that you're called to do. Many people that resonate with the light, with Christ, the chosen ones, the 144, the Hopi prophecy, rainbow warriors, great people, they feel alone. Sometimes we have to say enough is enough.